I, uh, I just moved recently. I uh, moved to Brooklyn. Anybody from Brooklyn here? Um, there are these guys. They work at the store on my corner, and they like to kind of like sit outside my apartment on these um, milk crates, and they drink 40s all day because they're real winners. And every time I leave my place, they sort of treat me like it's my naughty little idea to be a woman, which is a very fun feeling. Every time I leave my own apartment building, this guy is sitting outside, and I walk out, and he just goes, I'm saying, boo, saying, boo, I'm saying, boo. Saying, boo, saying, how you gonna do that to me? I'm saying, boo. Damn, your ass is neighborhood approved. I'm saying, boo. I just want to talk to you. I don't mean no disrespect. I just want to be a friend. I just want to be a friend. I'm saying, boo. I just want to... Can I just spend some time with you? I just want to be a tutor. Can I tutor you? I'm saying, boo. Please, boo. But what I've been doing lately is like... <laughs> When guys scream stuff at me in the street, I just talk back to them in the two most heinous, jarring voices I know, which are my mother's and my grandmother's. So the other day I left my place and I scratched my stomach and that same guy goes, I'm saying, boo, can I just scratch that for you? Can I just scratch that for you? Please, please, I just want to scratch that for you. So I just go, absolutely not. And I don't have to say why, okay? Why is why? Because I'm the mom boss. That's why. And I do sort of a lunge, because a forward jazzy lunge is not an attractive position. <laughs> and I hold that heinous jazzercise lunge. That's going to mess with a man's head, a lunge like that. Really messes with you.